reflect on the, the previous two years. Now, the, Ian Campbell's produced an annotated report on the report that this committee got. Now, what I suggest, it is, there's a lot, there's a lot in this report which I won't comment on. Um, but I feel it's important now that we're, our road safety review going on at the moment. So what I propose to do is, I'll ask Mike Lester to send this report. I think it's important that every member of this committee gets this report and reads it. It is in the public domain. Um, and I do think, and I stress, it is important that everybody reads it. Um, and I'm gonna, we're going to use this and the road safety review. We're going to look at some, doing some uh, pre scrutiny, which I welcome. The more pre scrutiny we can do, the better. So, this is going to be one of the first things on our, on our web program. The issue of the road safety review. We're also going to be looking at the road safety review. We're also going to be looking at the road safety review. We're also going to be looking at our commercial strategy, which we've heard about tonight. Um, we're, going, we're going to be uh, looking at universal credit. And I said before, the LCR scrutiny are doing the stuff that we'll be doing here. And I think it is important that we look at the universal credit because of the, the ramifications it's going to have in this forum, good or bad. We need to look at it. Um, Whittle Waters, uh, and we're going to use that means second. Whittle Waters, and um, we're going to be looking at that again. We promised us opportunity um, to believe in for this and Richard, Richard Morrison, and he showed me the Maritime Hub there is going to be done start of this year. And Office Block is going to be put up this year. They were the two, the two items he, he said, he assured us. So we want to look at that and see if it's happening and we'll bring Richard back. Um, so we'll be looking at that as well. And then I may say if there's any other items that any member of the committee feel should add to the program. You know, strictly we do, we want to do well. Um, and if there's anything that three of your party spokes, spokespersons, or me, um, you, you feel that we need to add to the program, please let us know. Okay, so is that okay? Can we note that report, please? Yeah, Ian. Yeah, yeah I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't obviously aware that you've been mentioning the World Pedestrians Association. I need to declare an interest in the item and their meetings. Uh, and certainly when, this, uh, when their report was discussed at their last meeting, uh, they did say they were going to send it to you. And I think Ian Campbell is keen to speak to this committee if you're willing to, uh, when it comes up for review uh, to give his thoughts on the issues that they've raised. They're quite a small group, but they're very committed to that issue and they're keen to play a part you know, as other groups are as well. Uh, the other point is um, I attended a briefing with uh, the uh, Club Centre Plus manager with uh, two other cab colleagues, Councillor Norbury and Councillor Stewart, uh, last month. Uh, on universal credit, and the manager there, Deborah Levers, um, for World District, is very keen as well to engage with the committee. Uh, so she would be more than happy, I think, from what she said to us at that meeting, to attend a meeting of this committee if you're willing. Oh, yes, more than willing, Ian. Thank you for that. We did invite Ian, but he, he, he does suffer ill health, and we did invite him to the last, our last meeting, um, but he felt he couldn't come because of his health, which I was disappointed at because he is good. But yeah, we'll look, we'll look at both of them here. Thank you. So, are we agreed to not that? That brings us on to any other business? Um, any other urgent business? Any? Sorry, Chair. This is something that came up 12 months ago when I asked a question. I also asked a question at July the 4th meeting. That is fines for utility companies digging holes. Now, the 1516, there was 170,000 in fines, and it, you can't put that in the budget because you don't know what you're going to get. The reply got, I got was, it was overspend. I now find out that I asked for the 1617, uh, uh, which I have not had a reply back for, I asked for in writing. And the simple reason is now we get to a situation in October of this year, there was a new meeting coming out with the government, so I'm going to be over utilities and the fining and such like of roads. One of the, one of the reasons being, again, is I'm coming to work uh, in, in here tonight, and I, I, I come to a set of traffic lights at 4.30, over the road, no one working. And I'm trying to find out 
two or three things, one being when utility companies ask for a day for working or do they class that eight hours, 24 hours or whatever, because there's nothing worse than you be travelling around the, the area and finding out that there's big holes in roads, no one working whatsoever. The law is now changing of leave and I've asked the question and I also asked on July the fourth about how much did we make in fines last year and where did that money get spent. I still have never reply back for this, but I'm certainly waiting for someone to come back to me to tell me what the what the new law is over holes in roads as such. And can I just ask who you asked? It was here and it should be the uh Monksworth it was Monksworth in them July fourth? Well did Mark say he was going to get back to you? Yes, the the answer was Okay, that's not awesome. Um, can you do you feel that you can respond to that, David? Or? It's now on the it's now been there, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take that away and get the answer. Thank I, you, I, I know that um, we have just appointed um, the two or three posts which are permit um, uh, operators who will deal with the permit system for road excavations and utility companies. I know those posts have been vacant for some time, and while I was just making the same clear we will enjoy the that's the existing system. You're right, it wasn't announced a couple of weeks ago about further strengthening the permit system, which authorities can employ. Um, I'll try to find out some more details about that. Thank you. Excuse me, the meeting's not finished yet. Yeah, if there's, any, if there's any other business, don't wait till I've finished, John, please. If there's any other business which is uh, felt that's urgent, we're quite within our remit to bring it in. And it's really bad mannered to stand up and put your coat on and put your, your, your agenda in the bin while we're still conducting business at this committee. And I expect a bit more, especially from you, Ron, sure. being our chief whip. Um, and Jerry, no, you don't just stand up and off you go before the meeting's concluded. Well, so I'm not asking, Ron, I'm not asking for any reply, please, because the meeting is just about finished. You're actually prolonging it now by your awful behaviour. Um, and that can be noted as well, please, Andrew. Um, right, we're on. Any other business we have, Eddie, thank, thank you. Exempt information, there isn't any. So I'll bring the meeting now to an orderly conclusion. And thanks very much, everybody, for attending. Thank you, Chair.